Thank you again for joining us here on this beautiful but hot summer day. We are so delighted to be here. It's virtually my first time to Berkshire in general, and it has just been such a privilege to be here in this beautiful place this week, working on this music. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the program that we're about to experience, which, as Steele already said, is about the embodiment of the senses in music. So one thing that you should know just logistically is that we've conceived this program from here on out as one, one kind of piece, and we won't be stopping for applause. However, we want to encourage you to interact with the music and experience however you want. So if you want to applaud at any moment or scream wildly, or be completely silent and think about the art and the music that you're seeing and the works that you're seeing and hearing, Anything you want to do is totally fine with us, and we encourage you to follow your own destiny uh, as we proceed through this concert. So Trace is going to tell you a little bit more about the cards that you'll see inside the program. Hi. So all of you have received three cards, and two of them don't require much explanation. That's vision and touch. However, three are perhaps um, worth uh, a little exposition. So, uh, some of you have a card that is smell. You know what your cards are because they're labeled. They'll say smell or touch or hearing. And as you go through the program, you'll match your card with the image that is on the screen. And when you see that image, you know it's time to engage with the card. So for smell, you'll notice a little tab on the back, and you just peel it back, and you will experience, uh, you'll experience zero, and then you can reseal it. So these are cards that can be experienced and resealed. So that's smell. We call it peel and sniff as opposed to scratch and sniff. <laughs> the second one I want to mention is the Galangal lozenge or the Galangal candy. Galangal is a spice that's similar to ginger. Uh, you can see the ingredients on the back if you're curious about what's in it before ingesting it. Again, we encourage you to do something that we don't normally do in concert, which is to unwrap a candy. But go ahead. We invite you to do that uh, and to experience what Galagal tastes like, as well as the recipe that Pilgrim Rod uses to, um, that involves it. And then the last one is hearing. You all have a hearing card. Then again, none of this is mandatory. If you want to just listen, you don't have to engage the materials. So this is how they, this is how we can see to them. So here there's a QR code on this card, which is something you all have quite used to. Uh, there's also just a listing of the link, alchemy.org backslash verdict to sound. And when you when you pull up that web page, you will be confronted with a um, an audio file. And when you see this image, we encourage you to play that audio file again. Your phone's probably on silent, but this is the time for you to actually play a file simultaneously. And Nicolo, who designed, who sound designed all of these recordings, created something that works with the sound that we broadcast through these speakers. So our idea is that you'll kind of experience this very aleatory surround sound experience. Your sound may start at a different time than your neighbors. It may overlap with the next piece. All of that is fine. Just enjoy the experience. So thank you again for joining us, and I look forward to sharing the rest of this program with you. I saw the firmament, together with everything attached to it. I saw also that from the thin air, moisture bubbling forth upon the earth roused the earth's viridity and made all the fruits to sprout and grow. The soul is the viridity of the flesh, for the human body grows and advances through it like the earth made fruitful through moisture. The soul is also the moisture of the body, moistening it like rain pouring upon the earth, lest it dry out. Indeed, certain forces proceed from the soul to bring the human body to life, like moisture from water. And this is why the soul delights to work with the body. For the movement of the rational soul and the work of the body with its five senses 
that is, the complete human person, are balanced. For the soul does not move the body more than the body can execute, nor does the body do more than it is moved by the soul. The individual senses are not independent of one another, but support one another with deep strength and enlighten the whole human person to particular goods both above and below.
Yarrow. Yarrow is a little bit hot and dry. Yarrow has a distinguished and subtle power for wounds. If a person has been wounded by a blow, the wound should be bathed in wine. Then yarrow, cooked gently in water, and that water squeezed out, should be tied gently, while warm, over the cloth which covers the wound. One who receives an internal injury should pulverize yarrow and drink it in warm water. After they are better, they should take the same powder in warm wine until well.
Galangal is generally hot with a small measure of cold. It is full of good qualities. One who has a burning fever should pulverize Galangal and drink this powder mixed with spring water and the fever will be extinguished. Someone with pain in their chest, spleen or heart, or whose stomach has been cooled by phlegm, should take Galangal and twice as much oregano as Galangal and three times as much sage as oregano and celery seed of the same weight as oregano and a little white pepper. Reduce this to a powder and add a little cooked honey to make an electuary, cooking it gently and not letting it suddenly boil. Eat this electuary often and drink good, pure wine that is somewhat weak.
have always seen this vision in my soul, even to the present time when I am more than 70 years old. In this vision, my soul, as God would have it, rises up high into the vault of heaven and into the changing sky and spreads itself out among different peoples, although they are far away from me in distant lands and places. And because I see them this way in my soul, I observe them in accord with the shifting of clouds and other created things. I do not hear them with my outward ears, nor do I perceive them by the thoughts of my own heart or by any combination of my five senses, but in my soul alone, while my outward eyes are open. So I have never fallen prey to ecstasy in the visions, but I see them wide awake, day and night. And when I see and hear things in this vision, my soul drinks them in as from a fountain, which yet remains full and unexhausted.
wild goose is hot and very fast in flying. A person whose eyes are clouded or painful should take its gall and add twice as much pure wine to it. They should place this in a copper vessel and then at night take a pen, in other words, a quill feather, and anoint their eyes with it, including a little on the eyelids where they touch each other. In doing this often, the eyes will become clear and healthy, and neither cloudiness nor film will have an easy time growing there.
Spirits teach us about inner ones. Namely, how, in accordance with the material composition and quality of instruments, we can best transform and shape the performance of our inner being toward praise of the Creator. For the song of rejoicing softens hard hearts, and their song goes through you so that you understand them perfectly. When the psaltery sounds, the harp follows, and after the harp sounds, the timbrel exalts, and after the timbrel, the dance. After the dance of joy, the voice of the stringed instruments and the flute emerge.
for our final set, I want to thank you again for joining us here. It's just been such a wonderful way to spend today and this whole week for us. We also wanted to thank the Williams College Museum of Art for having us here. Thank you. It's been just such a privilege. And to Teal for being so wonderful to work with and operating the slides, which is, as you can imagine, not a small part of the success of this performance. <laughs> Uh, we would love to say hi to you afterwards, either here where we'll be quickly packing up things, or more ideally, on the patio where we can be outside drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'd be happy to talk to you if you have questions about Hilter, about the music, um, about the interventory materials, or these variety of instruments that I know you might have questions about. You can also look at your program notes to see a little bit more about all of that. Uh, your program notes also link, you show you a QR code that you Follow if you want to join our mailing list and find out when we might be doing activities in the region, or we do have periodic uh, video broadcasts of our concerts for those of our audience who are not actually in New York with us. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or if you just have any general questions, you can email us at info at lqa.org. We promise to respond, perhaps not immediately, but definitely we will. And um, we're happy to answer questions about whatever you have in mind. So after the final two, we will enjoy the final set and then look forward to talking to you later. Thank you so much. The part of the earth towards the east bestows upon the middle zone a good sap and useful aridity, as too a person's sight, when directed as to the origin of brightness, supplies to that person, who exists as in the middle of the elements, health in both body and soul. The next part, looking to the west, grants to that middle zone a moisture that is sometimes good and sometimes harmful. Likewise, the hearing shakes and penetrates the whole human body to make known to a person both prosperity and adversity, the soul's salvation and his despair. The third part, lying to the south, admits to the middle zone heat tempered by the cool breeze of the winds. Likewise, smell rises up as steam from heat and floods a person with the smells that come from mixtures of hot and cold, as well as with the fragrance that comes from sighs for heaven. But the fourth part, drawn to the north, introduces into that middle zone cold from the north and heat coming from the east, just as taste, perceiving cold things and distinguishing cold and hot, strikes a person with different flavors and rouses them Finally, the fifth zone, which is in the middle of the others, is strengthened by them in its solidity and balanced by their various infusions. Likewise, touch thrives in the midst of the other senses and is empowered by them, 
because they grant to it all their powers and study it for growth.
Oh, 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 oh,